Hello friends, so today we are asking question from the board, problem number 860, laminate series. In this question, you are given that you are own a laminate stand and lem each laminate cost $5. And uh, what you have to do is, you each customer will bring one note to buy a laminate and he will either pay $5, $10 or $20 and you have to give him the change back. So let's assume that the laminate originally cost $5. So the cost of laminate is $5. And if someone brings $5, you can take the $5 and give him the $5 laminate. But if someone give you $10, you have to like give him $5 back. If someone give you $20, you have to give him $50 back. And these are the only three denominations which can be bought by any customer. Okay. So in this question, you are given a sequence of uh, like customers and what money they will give you. And you have to like output whether it is possible for you to give change to everyone which comes to buy a laminate to you. And originally you have to assume that you have no change in at hand at first. Okay, so you can see the example 5, 5, 5, 10, 20. So we can go through this example. So let's assume at initially you have $5. I make a 3 vector array to store how many 5, 10 and 20 uh, dollar bills you have originally. So, in the original you have 0, 0, 0. Now, a f person came and he gave you $5. So, now you have $1 bill. Now, $5, another person came and gave you. So, now you have two $5 bills. Now, another person came and uh, he gave you an another $5. So, now you have three $5 bills. Now, if one person came and he gave you $10. So, now you have actually one $10 bill, but uh, you have to give him five dollar back so now the five dollar bills become two and uh, now a, t a person came with twenty dollars so okay so now what you can do is you can either give him you have to give him fifteen rupees fifteen dollars back so let's assume this is three like like let's assume you have three five dollar bills so you can also give three uh, five dollar bills so it's equal to fifteen or you can give one ten dollar bill and one uh, Five dollar bill is equal to fifty. So there are two possibilities. You can add five one five dollar bill and one ten dollar bill. All three five dollar bills should become fifteen. But it's preferable to first give ten dollar bill because there are less ten dollars in compared to five dollars. And uh, if you give more five dollar bills, la so eventually the five dollar will exhaust very fast because if you give five three five dollar bills. Instead of one ten dollar bill, then the five dollar bills will exhaust very fast. So it's preferable to give if a twenty dollar bill come and you have ten dollar bill. So it's preferable to give one twenty dollar bill and one five dollar bills. I hope you understand the logic. So let's go to this question. Hold the solution. So what we have to do is uh, we will uh, have to find out whether it's possible or not. So we make a boolean alley and initialize it with true so that uh, we assume that it's true. Then we make a vector array and to store all the frequencies uh, and uh, we make a three value vector array. Okay. To store the first value stores the five dollar bills value, the second is ten dollar bills value, and the third is twenty dollar bill value. Okay. So now what we do is we iterate over the the com the array bills dot size and uh, i plus plus. Okay. So if now the first condition is if bills dot i is equal to five, so it means uh, you have got a five dollar bill. So what it's eventually you do, you will add this value in the vector. Okay. Else if you got a ten dollar bill, so you will check whether you have actually a five dollar bill or not. If you have a five dollar bill, you will subtract one five dollar bill and you will add one ten dollar bill. Else, if you have if it doesn't have any five dollar bills, it, it means you cannot pay that person. So you have to return false because no, like this sequence is not possible at all. This transaction sequence is not possible. Okay, so this is for five, this is for ten, else. Now for 20 we can just write L because there are only three denominations present. So for $20 there can be two cases. Okay. So if there is 
at least one ten dollar bill present and if there are at least one five dollar bill present like both one at least one are present so what we can do is we can take out a ten dollar bill we can take out a five dollar bill and then we can add the value in a twenty dollar bill okay else if this is not possible like there there are no ten dollar bills present so we have to check like whether we have at least three five dollar bills present so like if they are present so what we can do is we have to subtract three five dollar bills and uh, we have to add twenty dollar bill else if this condition also doesn't hold then we have to return false because then there are no possible ways to return that person its denomination back. Uh, if we iterate through all the loop and there are no error present, so we just have to return true because like this sequence is possible. Yeah, that's the code. I hope it run file. Okay. There are some problem. So let me check. So what we are doing is we are checking it whether the i bill is five. Yes, we are. Oh, we are. In, we have to increment in the five dollar bill. Okay. Again, wrong answer. So we are iterating to the the array. If it's a five dollar bill. Will increment up in the five dollar bill. Okay. Else, if we find out that if it's a ten dollar bill and uh, I is greater than uh, oh, what I done. If this is present greater than equal to zero, what we have to do is we will uh, take this and subtract it. Subtract from there. Yeah. I've just missed out the indexes wrong. So I hope you understand the logic why I'm doing everything. Uh, I just like put some non indices, but uh, I have the concept clear, so I've just uh, cleared it out. I hope you understand the logic. If you have any doubts, please mention it on the comment box. And uh, if you like this video, please hit a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll post like these videos every day. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you.